Hey everyone, um, I am here actually six months after climbing Denali. Don't worry, won't give away any um, details. But I wanted to explain, give a little background about why I made this video and um, what you're about to see because not a lot of people know about the mountain climbing world. So really my purpose was to, to show you guys what climbing the highest mountain in North America is like. Um, it took 21 days. Um, that was the total time of the trip. And this is actually my second time attempting Denali. I climbed this when I was 17, 2021. Um, and the, my first attempt was when I was 13. There's little Lucy on Denali. So it's been a while. Me and my dad didn't summit when I was 13. I made it to high camp, but then had to turn around due to an accident on the mountain. Not unrelated to my team, but um, but yeah, we, we didn't have a chance to to try for the summit, which is really disappointing. So that's why um, me and my dad were back at our second world record, record attempt um, on Denali. So yeah, this is the video, part one, because I recorded a lot on the mountain. I love you. Bye, Mom. Bye. Love you so much. Don't <laughs> cry. Don't cry. So this little board right here tells you the stats on Denali and you can see there's a 38% success rate for the summit. We are at the airstrip right now. There's our plane, loading it all up. How you feeling, Dad? How you feeling? Let's okay, go. he's deaf, Let's he can't go hear. Denali. Down to the glacier, got our stuff off the airstrip, and now we're trying to find a camp in this gorgeous place. There's no view that's not good, so I'm okay with it anyway. Look at that avalanche! Whew. Glad we're not over there. Got all the stuff up here finally. This is for so much for not sweating in this in this shirt. It's so hot. Such a beautiful day though. Look at this dinner fit for a king. Salad greens, croutons, which I'm already eating, and dressing. Last fresh food. Gonna enjoy it a lot. Okay, so this is the next morning. We got up super early around like 5 to get up and start making our breakfast and stuff. Dave has a cool hanging pot, which is sick. And we're gonna start hiking to our next camp. Ready, we're freezing. Very nice. Ooh, the breakfast menu for today and basically every day until we hike camp. morning of our first hike. We're all getting ready. We are almost done. It's like almost five, so we're getting a little late start, but it's super cold, so the ice bridges should be fine. Okay, a little bit of explanation here. So you start hiking super early in the morning because the snow bridges melt because of the sun, because um, it's really hot in the lower mountain. And snow bridges are what you use to cross crevasses, which are big holes in the mountain, essentially. And there's a lot of those on the lower mountain. So that's why you 
um, you hike in the morning on the lower mountain. Because you definitely don't want to fall in one of those thingy. Ah. Alright, so we can now we'll do that. Cool. So we we'll start here. Yeah, I don't have a key. Rodney. May we have a little guidance on Let's get these anchors. These are like one of the most important things, so our tent doesn't blow away. Yeah. Look at that nice looking tent. How old is this tent, Dave? How old is the tent? Yeah, have you had it a long time? Um, they sent it to me in, maybe in 13. I'll oh. tell you the story sometime. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going to do the 10 of these around the edges later. Okay. But I'll show you what we do now. The snow? No. Mm -hmm. Leave those in there. Okay. There's our tent. Well, we still have to put the stove sticks in, but that's the end of the video. This is day two, and we're at camp one at 7,800 feet. We hiked for like five-ish hours today from base camp, and it was, it was a nice hike. It was really hot, but I felt good. Um, I didn't have any like headaches or anything, so that was good. I had really yummy hibiscus drink, so I drank water. Um, let's see, my hair's gone to absolute shit already, but it's okay, because hats are stylish up here. Um, yeah, oh, we had a very good dinner. That kind of made me sick, but it was delicious. Um, it was tortillas, or not tortillas, it had tortillas. I love tortillas, but it had quesad it was a quesadilla with a lot of chicken, chicken quesadillas. Um, and a little too much cheese, but it was okay. I liked it a lot. And I decided that when I'm older, I'm going to make um, freeze-dried, non-dairy, yummy mountain food. I'll just have to take my lactate pills. Um, but yeah, it was really good. And tomorrow's pesto chicken, so I'm happy. I have really good snacks for tomorrow. Um, here, right here. Some Oreos, you can see. Tortilla, um, a Lara bar, yeah, pretty exciting stuff. Other than that, oh yeah, tomorrow we are planning to wake up at 5. Oh yeah, we woke up at 3.30. You're noisy. We woke up at 3.30 this morning and got hiking around 7. We had like cash stuff and it was really icy, so that took a little while. But um, we'll get our shit together faster tomorrow. And we don't have to break down tent because we're just caching and then coming back. Caching at 10,000. And then that's about all. Coming back and then moving the next day. If the weather allows. And... Okay, so here's a little example of a group dinner. We don't do group dinners every night, but we do a good amount of the time. So basically when we get to camp, we dig a kitchen or we take over one that's already there. And then we can boil water by melting snow with our fuel and our little pots and pans. So here you can see we're having some nice quesadillas and Dave has his fancy cheese. So pretty sweet setup. I've got our hot water. Dave, what are you having for breakfast? A uh, breakfast skillet? Coffee. Coffee. How hardy. I'm waiting for the, the group. Just sitting on my bag. What can I say? I'm just superiorly packed. No, I'm an organizer, so I like to organize like the night before. I don't think anyone else does. We're kind of a slow-moving group when it comes to getting ready in the mornings. 
so it's okay though we'll get there i'll keep us at a good pace there's the hill we're gonna hike up not overly excited forming surgery on my thumbnail because it is chipped and i don't really want to touch it but it can like come off easily so not i'm gonna deal with good. all that just, just paint it it's to make sure that there's no infection this happened while taking my um taking my snowshoes off after hiking today oh are you about to dig on that oh no, dude i use i way much i'm good thank you Chicken. Oh, I'm good. I'm a, I'm so tired. Okay. I'm about to go to sleep. Chicken gumbo, huh? Thank you, though. That diner? All right. So I'm going to take as much off as... Well, uh, I just... Does that hurt? No. Okay. Now, for the really quick part, I really should have gloves because I don't really want super glue on my fingers. Do you want super glue on your gloves, though? No, I don't want super glue anywhere, but... The super glue exploded because of the pressure. Oh, no. Apparently, they don't go mountaineering when they test super glue. Oops. So, wish us luck. Those of you who are watching this, oh my gosh. I wonder if anyone will. We'll oh, crusty, nasty. Yeah. I, Should I put it? Saw. We it's can a chip. Right off. No. <laughs> right off. The whole thumb? Now, Lucy, the other thing you have to do is you have to cut Should all of your nails. Try. Do the end, do the end. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I'm super glued to this. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. I told you. Oh, uh, it sounds like a mess, and I want no part of it. Oh, gosh. Oh, dude. Eh. Son of a... Damn. Our surgery went averagely. Good. I do not could. This is the best meal in the world. On or off the mountain. I love it so much. It's keeping me going. The thought of this kept me going today. Mm, we're at 7,800 feet now. We cashed it 10,300. Came back down. Tomorrow we move. With, if the weather allows. I'm so, so tired. We've been getting like no sleep. And I just need to go to bed right now. Today was very hard. More uh, mentally than physically. Because I led the slow team and I could not go slow enough. And it was like psychological warfare. It's very challenging. Yeah, it's okay. well, no, uh, not yet. If you don't mind, just trying to back Tomorrow's up. Tomorrow's in a day. It's so pretty out here. The clouds have really parted. And just so blue and beautiful. Look at, look at, get it out. Okay, update. We are stuck in our tents right now. It's day five on the glacier. So far... We have, the first day we hiked to Camp 1 at 7,800. Actually the first day if you count it, we just got on the glacier and slept. And then that night we got up at 2.30 in the morning and hiked to the next camp at 7,800. Then we carried and cast up at 10,000 feet, came back down and slept. And then we got up early because the weather was going to come in. Um, and we tried to make it to 11,300, but there's an accident with, um, one of our team members. So, um, it was, like, fatigue, mostly induced, maybe a little altitude, too. So we just, um, pulled over. That was at 9,000 feet during our hike up. Um, so we made it to 9,300 feet, where it's pretty safe to camp. And set up camp really fast and got them inside and everything, so... Now we're, um, it's the next day, day five, and we're stuck in the tent because there's so much snow outside. Like, our tent is, like, buried. There's about a foot, um, more than there was yesterday. But we're hoping the weather tomorrow looks a little bit better, so maybe we can hopefully get up to 11,000 tomorrow, and then it looks pretty good after that, so... Hopefully we can make it to 14 after that. So that's kind of where we are right now.
I'm reading on my Kindle The History of Love right now, which is really good. Um, I've been drawing a bit. I'll show you those. Writing, playing cards, and I downloaded one movie on my phone and I've been saving it, so I might watch it today since we're all snowed in. That's about all. I was sleeping a lot because we don't get to sleep much. We always wake up at like 2.30. Oh my god, my eyes are like so puffy and my lips, so yeah, but yeah, that's about all. Fun times. Here's my little entertainment bag. Um, I'll unveil everything. I'm so damn tired of being bored. And I'm so... So I started this when we were in Colorado, but I never finished it. And I did this on the plane, mostly, which I wanted this to be like a scratch, kind of like the monster sign, but I don't think it turned out very well. I kind of ruined it with that, but you know, it's okay. And then I just, I'm in the middle of this one right here. I feel like her face looks a little weird, but it's okay. I've written some things, some updates. I've actually written a good amount. And yeah, I'll continue, continue with that. Okay, Rummy game to 400 for <laughs> these Aww. high stakes here. I put in my caramel kind bar. Dad put in his Snickers and fruit snacks. So. Okay, exiting the tent. We don't like to go out much in this weather. It's pretty crappy. waiting at 9-3. There's some division on the team about what to do. Um, some people want to go up even though it's snowy. We can't see that much but we have GPS so we could trace our trail. We can see a few wands. There's a trail established by some other people. One other party went up. So me and dad want to go up because if we're not aggressive, I don't see us getting to the top of this mountain. We can't wait for conditions to be perfect all the time, but there's got to be some consensus on the team, so we're trying to talk it out, but there's just a big divide right now, so it's challenging. But yeah, Dad's chilling. Well, we've packed all our stuff. But the weather is pretty shitty still. I just want to go, but some people want to wait for it to clear a bit so that we'll be able to see the path better or something. <sighs> but this is pretty shitty. I mean, I'm just like lying here, waiting, and I just want to hike and go to the next camp and set up camp. Well, we've been waiting here. For the past four hours, I'm more than a little angry, more than a little disappointed, eating my goldfish out of anger. Yeah, that's about all. Hmm. What up? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the loot. Day seven, one week into the climb. I don't know, we're still at nine three, but the weather's been crappy. 
there's been a lot of debate on what to do, a lot of division, but we decided not to go, and it looks like the weather might be a little bit better today, so we're hoping that we can go very soon. Fingers crossed up to 11,200 and then go down and get our cash, because we're also running out of food, so that would be great. Today was a good day. I'm here in my sleeping bag at Camp 2. It's very cold. As you can tell, I got my big poofy out for the first time, and I'm very happy. But yeah, it's really cold in here. Um, oh, we had um, minestrone soup and chicken. Like, we had some buns, rolls with chicken, some cheese in them, so that was really good. And we finally made it out of the valley of frickin' death, where we were stuck in an Eeyore rain cloud, or, well, snow cloud, forever. Um, well, no, okay, like, two and a half days, but what felt like forever. And now we're at Camp 2, and today was great. We went, went from 9-3 to 11-2, set up all the tents and everything, then, um, seven of us, so the team minus Hillary and Dave went down, got the cash at 10-3, and came back up, and I got to lead the fast rope. I was so happy. So we went fast, and it was fun, and we made it back in like like less than two hours down at getting the cash and back, so very good. Um, yeah, that's about all. Now, tomorrow we are gonna go up and cash above Windy Corner, which will probably take about seven hours in total. But yeah, not too bad. Motorcycle Hill is rough. That's right out there, but yeah, we're chilling. Literally, I'm a little cold. <laughs> Look at this, I can just sip it right from here. We travel in style here. It's too low, it's too low. Wait, 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 we'll, re we'll read this. All right, now try it. Okay. Tell the camera what's in there. Right. Fresh squeezed orange juice. Oh. Dave brought fresh up the oranges. And fresh squeezed, squeezed tang juice. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Hanging right there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dave. Look, Dave's got his contraption too. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's absolutely lovely. Look at this pancake right here. Nope. I'll sit till Dad, the... how are you liking here? So good. Mm. Unbelievable. Blueberry pancake, sausage, and syrup. Yes. No syrup for me. I'm a syrup, syrup snob, but... Yeah, and look at our, our balance chefs there. I'm gonna get one Gotta more. Gotta hand it to them. I've been waiting for the tides to change, for the waves to send you my way. I see you, darling, but you pixelate. It gets hard to take these days. at the top of Squirrel Hill. I thought my hair looked really cool because it's like frozen and stuff. I redid my braids today, so, you know, looking spiffy. Um, I'm leading rope team, Dad, Dennis, Brandon. Uh -oh. Dave's on his way. Right oh, sorry, Dad's peeing. Um, but yeah, we just had a hard two hours of hiking up Motorcycle Hill and then Squirrel Hill. Now we have kind of like a football field and then windy corner we're gonna cash and then after that we are pretty much done my snack right now oh well obviously we had to come back down Let's see. snack stay there some food snacks so i'm pretty excited about that i'm gonna save two for dave because we do this thing where we like he always, whenever he has a snack, he usually gives me some and I give him some. And, you know, not always, but it's a, uh, what is it? Oh, not symbiotic. Oh my, no. Okay, well, I can't remember. It's not a parasitic relationship, whatever the other one is. Okay, it's kind of cold, so. Bye. 
We just came up Windy Corner right there. Now we're digging our cache. Are we filming? Mm-hmm. Hello, world. Yes. Hello, world. First time breaking out the chest harness. We decided right there is a lovely place for our cache. Mm. Excuse my chomping. Everything in my sled can be cached. Ah, here we got a good, good old CMC where we shit, and I think there's not shit in it. There's fuel in it, so it's pretty heavy, but not dirty. We have our lovely cache of stuff. Look at that. Dennis is in the cache. It's in a hole. We're gonna cache Dennis too. Goodbye, world. We'll pick him up tomorrow. Nope, the next day. I'm sure it'll be warm. If the weather's good, if not. Got plenty of food down there, though. Okay. Now we just fill it. But I'm gonna go put on another layer, so. All right, can we, can we fill it in, dude? Party time? That's, that's all, I, that's all it is. Fill in the cash. Buy stuff. F you and. No. Okay, so this is the top of Motorcycle Hill, the bottom of Squirrel Hill. It's a little hard to pan because I'm attached to the rope, so I'm just gonna go back this way. And we're, oh, we're going down there. You can't really see it very well, but Camp 2 is right down there. And we just came from Squirrel Hill is up there. There's Dennis and Brandon up and there. Dad's butt. Up that away. And there's like a cliff right there, and there's a bunch of fog coming up. So pretty cool. Like Here's a little crevasse right here. About to head down Motorcycle Hill. As soon as Dad gets his set on. It's pretty freaking gorgeous. Stepped over that one. There was one right up here though. And I saw a guy jumping earlier. We might have to kind of jump over it. Crevasse! I'm jumping over this one. Yeah. Okay. Now we're just walking. Okay, I wanted to video walking into camp because I thought this was pretty hilarious. A bunch of dudes have their shirts off over here. Hope they're not staying out too long. Or else they're gonna get burned with Chris. Yeah, this is camp two. Walking through. Got down motorcycle hill without falling into crosses. That's good. Oh man, just got done with Shit, day what? eight. What um, the... Yeah, my braids oh, have looked better, but That's it's okay. Um, we just hiked, just got done hiking from camp two at 11,200 to, um, to cash above Windy Corner at um, 13,500. Like 700 feet below camp 14. So yeah, now we're back at camp two, hoping to move tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's about all. I felt good today. Um, it was definitely a hard day. It was, I had trouble with the second day of the climb when we cached um, from camp one up around the corner, but I, I'd say this one was like just as hard as that. Um, seven out of 10 in my hardest scale. Oh my gosh, my lips are dying too. Yeah. I made up a song, wanna hear it? I'm sitting at 11,300 feet 
eating a tortilla. A tortilla. I've been warming it. I've been warming it in my pocket all day. Chef's kiss. Absolutely delicious. Here we are, just above oh Windy Corner. Lucy's leading us up to base camp. And there's our goal, right above her. There are these dudes over there with a big group. The big group of people. I was walking by and they gave me a hot dog. Great way to end a trip. I love mountain people. No, that's a jet gray, right? Yes. <laughs>